Greetings and salutations, my name is Eric, and we are somewhere new. Right here on the map, you can see I've made our third base. I think I might disassemble the metal base because this one has it all. Well, not at all. It just has a bunch of metal nodes and a bunch of coal nodes all together. So I just plopped down a couple foundations and some ramps. And I think I'm going to build this one up. I, uh, I'm trying to find the spot where there's the least amount of stuff and things. I think it's on this part right here. I can build the little workshop or whatever. And a couple forges. We're almost to the electric forge. And in the last episode, we did fought all those bosses. And we're up to 25 ancient tech points. Which is absolutely nuts. So that means we can get the uh, average feed bag. Come on. Large feed bag. Single shot sphere launcher. Which might be fun to try out. Uh, huge feed bag. Scatter sphere launcher. Which I don't see the use of. Uh, and the decal gun set. Oh, we can paint stuff. And then we still have enough for more stuff once we level up. Uh, we get the electric furnace in two levels. But I think, I think, I think, this is, I think, yeah, I'll get rid of the base probably right here because all it has is just metal. Well, this one has the same amount of metal and coal. Uh, the only problem is I hear some people have troubles with the pathing around here. So hopefully I can make it work. While well, I've been just waiting around for the uh, Anubis to make a good egg, we're almost we're almost done. We have three of the four seals that we want. I decided to whip up some heat-resistant metal armor because it, it should be 180. Just, just, a t just a smidge better than the non-resistant one. I still need a few more. What's the word? Where are they? Oh, we're finding it and ice organs. Okay, so not much longer. Now, the reason why I'm making this is because in this episode, I do want to go venture forth to the uh, snow area that's up here because we need quartz. And I believe that's the only place to get quartz. Because the parents, this one has serious artisan and work slave, and the other one, wherever it ran off to, has artisan and lucky on it. Yes, yeah, so all this one needs is lucky. But no. See, yeah, you, you, you got that right. Astral Mountains. Not bad, not bad. So am I going to do the same thing as last episode and have to cover every single little inch of this place? Probably. I really want to get strong enough to be able to take on the higher level dungeons too. Because so far I've just been running like the level 29 ones and like... We're, we're, we're almost double... No, not doubling that. That'd be 60. I don't know where I'm going with this. Math is hard. I believe one of the merchants sells cold resistant underwear because uh, without it we can only explore here during the day because it's if you see all the temperature gauge we're at the second to lowest temp but once that gets nighttime that, that'll go down to freezing and that's no bueno. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that at the end of the clip but check here we got our first gold key. Uh, phew, you can tell we're getting to the high level stuff now. Speak of the devil. Gold key, refined metal armor schematic two. So that's not so that's the tier down from what we have, but it's higher quality. Apparently, some bosses drop legendary schematics, which uh, I'm not strong enough to fight yet. The only ones I can fight are uh, Beacon and Ibushi, which drop the handgun and the crossbow respectively. But we don't talk about King Pa. Is it King Paka? I have uh, King Paka. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. Oh, you just did another Sibilex. Looks like we can find Mao Crists and the Ice Mamarest Crist up in here. Oh, another gold key. Nice. But I haven't seen anything new yet. I think we're almost all out of new stuff. Oh, Botans. We, we fought the uh, Wumpo. No, Wumpos. We fought the Wumpo Botan in the last episode. I, I know my words. Oh, you're pretty cute. Get him. Oh no, we're not going to do like any damage. Yep, we're out. Nope. Oof, the dungeons here are level 45. But I'm going to mark this on the map right there. I've been enjoying doing that. I don't know. I, I never do that in any other games. But here it's like, ooh, that's so satisfying. And I might want to go over. Uh, there should be a uh, another sanctuary up here somewhere. So if we spot it this episode, I want to go there too. 
And if you end up uh, liking this video at all, consider liking and subscribing. We're aiming for uh, 10 likes for this video. Ooh, that just felt so like 2012 YouTuber. That hurts me physically. Alrighty, right here on the map is a fruit tree. And if you see in the distance, there's the sanctuary. So we got a little bit of a trek ahead of us. No fast travel points though, anywhere near here. Alright, yeah, we haven't been here before. Because the first thing we saw was an incineram knocked. Okay, and there's a bushi. I'm keeping my eyes peeled because I want my genuine reaction for when something crazy pops up. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty neat. You know? Because that's probably going to be my reaction. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. Oh. Oh. Hey, that's pretty neat. Did I do it right? Because it's been like a whole 30 seconds that I forgot what I was saying. But Blazamut. Apparently that thing has the highest breeding coefficient of whatever. You know what? Oh, you see me right over there? I'm going to keep following you. It's almost nighttime. And I wonder if anything cool comes out at night. If I use Acid Rain, it should be a stab attack. So I should do a little bit of damage at least. Oh, that's not nearly as much as I was hoping. Yep, that hurt. That hurts. Oh crap, if the Quiverin dies, we die. Uh, let's get off of you, on you, because you also have it, plus you're a higher level. Dodge. Oh, oh, oh. So see that Flame Emperor? That means uh, it has an increase to, oh, 10 Flame Organs. Oh my goodness. Uh. Increased to fire attack damage. So Blazamut's considered a sub-legendary in this game. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I'm just going to hang out here to see if anything else cool pops up. And I'll be sure to let you guys know. Oh, that there's a Lylene. That's uh, the thing the boss had last episode. Uh, I don't see anything else. Oh my goodness. Night's already half over. But let's try and get it. This will not do a lot of damage. Oh, that's a little bit more than I was expecting. Oh, see, that's it. so it counts as another sub M sub uh, legendary because that gives, I believe, increased um, what's the word? Grass damage. I'm looking forward to. Pro we're probably gonna end up getting a legendary or two in the next episode. Uh, hello, Ozerk. And you're mad at me. I wish I had some ground types. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. I, I better uh, better switch off. Any guys? Okay, guys over there. We gotta watch out for the guys. Uh, you'll you'll be weak to ground. Ouch. Get him. Get him. But uh, I wish I had. That don't that almost killed me. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, okay. What if I just snipe him from a distance? What are you doing dying on me, you chuckle nuts? I wasted a sphere too. Okay, at least we know that thing exists. Uh, why, hello there. What are you? A phalaris. Okay. Another fire type. I don't see any guys around here. No guys. I'm not going to land on any. Let's try this. What is with me killing things? Urgh. Well, at least you guys... Mm, at least we know what that one is, too. Oh. Oh. oh Astagon. Oh, I know you're... And we're out of food. Dang. Nabbitdilly snack. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways. That's, that's why I've been hanging out here so long. Because I knew about this guy. Because he's all over the place. And he's so freaking cool looking. Uh, should this be neutral damage or super effective? Neutral, okay. And you're stuck in the ground, but that's okay because you're so cool. Oh, an artisan too. Oh, sweet. oh, pure quartz. And you drop palmetto ingots. Oh my goodness. I, I know we gotta go because we're hungry, but that's oh, that's so cool, so cool. So let's check out everybody that we just got. So Lylene here has Spirit Emperor, twenty percent increased grass attack damage. 
Uh, level 4 planting, that's notable. And overall, pretty decent skills. And uh, when activated, the Queen's Toothing Graces greatly restores the player's health. So it's kind of like the big version of Petalia. Uh, now, Astagon can be ridden as a fly. Oh, I can fly? And increases damage dealt to ore while mounted. Black and Kylos. Oh, he's so cool. Uh, level 4 mining. He has the highest mining of any uh, pal. And handiwork. And, uh, wow. Oh, man. I want I want a bajillion of them. Uh, and then Blazamut can be ridden and enhances fire attacks while mounted. Uh, you have 20% increase to fire attack damage. And you have level, f oh, level 4 mining as well. I did not know that. And you have level 3 kindling. Uh, did we, oh my goodness, did we get anything else? I already forget, because I know we killed a couple things on accident. Oopsies. Now, we don't have any more, uh, Ultra Spheres, so I'm not gonna go back to that little island. I wanna keep exploring over here. I'm yet to find a fast travel point, and I wanna find, a, like, a good source of quartz. Like, I could have sworn it was over here, but it's probably up in the mountain to a little bit more. Because all I see is just normal metal. Oh, this is a nice little fro- oh! Oh, those are cryolinxes and a Malchrist. Oh, I thought it was under the ice for a second. I've seen those in uh, pet traders a lot. Do I even have enough? Uh, your ice types are your weak to fire. Do I even have fire on? Yes, I do. You are some funky looking dudes. Oh yeah, I'm dragging weak to get get on here. Yeah, let's get them. He just one shot them. Nicely done. New pal acquired. That's what we don't have many left. Heck, the one post decided to pick a fight with me. It's their fault. It's their fault. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Come on. Uh, what does volcanic burst do? It kills them. That's what it does. I do believe we found our first piece of quartz. Are you going to attack me? Nobody pay attention to me. Yeah, pure quartz. Okay. Oh, this might take a hot minute. Just don't look at me, please. <laughs> oh, right here's a hang you, Christ. Haven't seen one of those before. I was just noticing these quartz up on the pile. I think we can, like... Oh, no. Womp womp. Oh, heck, Van Worm Christs. They just flew right past me and I didn't even see them. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Uh, let me... That wasn't that bad, and they look super cool. So that's an interesting passive. Can be ridden as a flying mount. Increases damage player deals to enemy weak points while mounted. In Dune Shelter, they sell the thermal undershirt. So we can pick that up so we can resist the cold during the nighttime, too. Uh, between episodes, I left the game running to go get um, breakfast or well, lunch. And uh, you guys have been busy. Goodness gracious. Oh. Oh, I think that one's it. I think that one's it. Finally. Oh, my freaking God. Oh my god, that took forever. So we have Artisan, Work Slave, Lucky, and Serious. 150 work speed, 115% bonus. Uh, look how many I freaking... So, oh, almost three boxes full. That's nuts. Now we can get tense them all into the one. Oh, it's finally, finally. So I was able to get it up to three stars. And if I wanted it up to four stars, I need 64 of them. And I do not have 64 of them. Oh, uh, do I want to breed up a few more? Because it gets it up to level 5 handiwork, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, I don't know. Now, I'm going to take my, our Anubis, since it has all the good stats, and I'm going to breed it with the lucky Tanzany, even though probably one that doesn't have any skills would be better. But uh, now that we have all the skills on one, we can easily pass it down to other pals that we want to have good working skills. Behold, two common eggs. Now we just throw these in the incubators and I'll show you what we get. Now we hatch these bad boys and they should come out as... The cows. Moserinas. But we want one with all of the uh, Anubis's stuff. Ah, darn. What? 
Oh, I got the... Okay, I'm gonna keep at this. Oh, everyone's going to sleep now. So we can get the uh, mozzarellas with all the good stats. So we can get lots of milk. And then we can do the same thing with a uh, rush ore. And we can get dig twice with all the good stats. Uh, there's a bunch of really good ones we can get nowadays. I also, I forgot what I was working on, but I made some circuit boards. 15 of them to be exact. So I believe now we can make... Uh, the production line two, not that one, this one. Oh, we need a lot more in ingots staying at it. Behold, the world's worst place production assembly line. What can you make in here that's different from everything else? Is Seriously, nothing? Lame. Um, unless I'm missing something, but this means we can upgrade the power box one more time. Uh, no noticeable things. An electric furnace, that's, I think, the next level. Let's check that out real quick. Oh, level 44. Goodness gracious. We're, uh, yikes. Hey, that's it. <laughs> it took me a second for it to clue in. Oh, uh, are you guys almost done? Mm, I'm gonna swap out the, the, the monkey for a... Okay, first of all. Yeah. Mark speed, mark speed, mark speed, mark speed. Oh, freaking A, man. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna max one of them out. But let's just take uh, one of you and swap you out with you. And then I'm gonna grab you, throw you in the breeding pin. Uh, pen. So we can get a uh, dig twice with all the good stats. Fingers crossed. Good luck, guys. Oh, man. Sweet. Ultra cow. Behold. Legendary. <laughs> Uh, I believe, uh, I'm just going to throw it out for now, and it should make milk noticeably faster. And maybe we can start using that to feed guys, or maybe make some stuff, hello, and things. What was I doing? Uh, I think I'm going to go catch some more so we can level it up a bit. You're only getting a three star for now, because that took forever. Why does it take so long to find stuff? Oof. Oh, but you better get back into the farm. Oh, it's morning. Nice. So, it's, yeah, uh, I read that it should be producing about twice as fast because upgrading the skills also upgrades, like, the skill. Oh, my God. Where is it? Oh, here you are. Uh, so 150 work speed. Yeah. And you see Milk Maker level 4. That's what I was talking about. Might as well whip up a huge feed bag. I don't really... Okay. So, no key items. It doesn't take up any weight. So, we just completely skipped it? No. I don't really see the point of having one, but I wanted one anyways. Hey, that's one. Okay. I don't know if we want the work slave on there because it's lower attack. But uh, I'll take it anyways. That'll be good for... Uh, what's the word? Oh my goodness. What word? The uh, stone pit thing. Because that I don't think that is... um. Was attack dependent, but who knows? So just running around looking for anything neat. On the backside of the Frost Islands, it's just a sheer cliff face all the way. And I'm just waddling across the top because if I run out of stam, I just slide all the way down. That totally hasn't happened twice. So right here on the map, way up here, is a tower. Uh, and a boss tower, but I believe this is the the end game, end game one. So, uh, yeah, we're not going anywhere inside for the time being. Whoa, hello, large frozen egg. Don't mind if I do. I haven't been checking those out. I wonder if there's more on other ones. Uh, the, the frozen area seems a little, like, underdeveloped. Oh, no, that's a damp egg. Oh, and an effigy. Oh, okay. I keep getting distracted. I don't see any fast travel points from up here, but... Oh, I think that might be one right there. Never mind. But I see this ancient city-looking deal. Uh, they totally underutilized at the moment. Effigy right down there. Uh, the north is really, really good for, uh, like, blueprints and whatnot. But uh, they can sometimes drop legendary schematics. But some bosses also do the same. But I'm yet to have one drop. I think they're like probably a 1 or a 10% chance. It's it's nuts. But I'm just keep grinding. Uh, the dungeons should be, what, like I showed it in the last episode, 45 I think. 
Oh, there's is that a chest or a journal? Uh, nothing too too interesting. Just I'll keep looking. So right down here is another fast travel point and an Ice King Paka, level 46. I don't think we could take... Ah, oh, I know you're hungry. Uh, anything cool? I bet you that's the entrance to the boss. There, oh, 4,000 health. It's ice type, so I could use the Reptoro. Uh, are there any... Ch I I'm going to yoink that chest and then I'm out. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Anything good? No. Oh, diamond! Scratch that. That might sell for quite a bit. Are you going EPCP time? Bye. Assault rifle schematic. Oh. Oh, I don't... Oh, that's nice. I'm totally not watching YouTube on the second monitor and I have to pause it every time something interesting happens. Fast travel point right down here. I'm surprised I went so far without finding anything, but I still got to fill in the rest of the map. I've been recording all the chests opening, at least the ones that use a key, because like you can get some pretty nice stuff from them. But I think I'm only going to show, that's another large, almost full of larges. I'm just going to keep looking, just a bunch of the same stuff. I feel like, uh... oh, so that's the same as the other one. So now we have two, that's not bad. But I think I'm only going to level up the one for now, but I'm going to keep them. Oh, what's in a large common egg? I didn't notice I picked up one of these. I thought it was just a normal one. Uh, oh, a Lunaris. Cool. Anyways, I'm going to hatch all these uh, frozen eggs that I picked up and the huge damp... Go oh, no, go in you. There we go. Uh, and I'll show you guys if we get anything neat. And if you put the Anubis and the Elizabeth together, they'll make a uh, Sibilex, which will be good for the high-quality cloth. And then I might do a Kilimari after this to get a Caprity. These are these are all words. Ah, I was looking for you, a Kitson. Yeah, Kitson. Okay, sure. Will this one shot? No. Uh, fire type in the ice zone, which is interesting. Don't. But it's very cool looking. Okay, you do you. Be safe. Have a great time. Uh, one more. Yeah, that should be good. And then let's do a uh, Gigasphere because we have a lot. There we go. Oh, no, no passive. Swamp Womp. Uh, I believe there's also something called a Foxicle around here, but I don't know where it is. Uh, it looks like I ended the last clip a little bit too early. A Foxicle. You are... N nope, that's trademark. <laughs> nice. What in the world could a large scorching egg be doing up here? I don't know of any half fire types that live up here. So here's a huge frozen egg. And the Lilene knocked. And I believe it should be within this mine shaft. I'm gonna assume. Well, we all know the saying about assuming. So oh, I, I like the dress. I like the sparkly dress. Ooh, another diamond. Not bad, but let's get out of here. It looks like our first set of large frozen eggs is ready. I have no idea what's going to be in them. Uh, Cryolinx. Oh, we already have one. I hear they're not good for much, but I'll have to double check. Plus, they look a little wonky if you ask me. Oh, a Van Worm Crisp. That's pretty good. I just wish this took a little bit faster. Uh, Pacifist. Womp womp. Uh, oh, there's a foxicle. Dang nabbit. Uh, what? This one and then two more. Another Van Worm Christ. And then we have another one, a workaholic. And then finally, an ice reptro. Cool. Pretty decent. So the foxicle, while in team, increases the attack of ice pals. And then Cryo Lynx, while fighting together, Dragon Pals drop more. Oh, oh, that was yours. Oh, I might have to take that back. And then for the Kitsun, uh, can be ridden unaffected by the cold or heat while riding this pal. That's useful. Finally, another dungeon right about here on the map. Boink. So right there, and then you just go up there to the Lily Noct. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Bugger off. 
I was just gonna say this house right here on the map is covered in snow and I was thinking man I'd still probably have to end up going to school even if the house looked like that so it looks like there's another dungeon right about here oh that's kind of easy to spot the, just a big rock face right there oh and there's a chest pump action shotgun Ooh. oh right there that is a frostalian uh another legendary like the jet tr jet dragon however you're gonna say it i'm gonna yoink that chest and then we're gonna skedaddle skadoodle hey don't pay any attention to me please very cool have a nice day oh pump action shotgun schematic three an epic one <laughs> all right this dungeon right about here boink it, it blended in really well. I almost flew right past it. But now looking at it, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, I'm such a good little YouTuber. One, two, three, four, five. I'm such a good little YouTuber. Seven quartz. And I believe that's two metal. Uh, right. He, oh, you can see the little circle of them right here. So I'm just going to mark that as a mine spot. This might be another base location. Ah oh, man, I, I, I've been looking all over for a place like this. Sweet. I'm a wraith. Oh yeah, we have we already have one of those. Womp womp. Hey, don't bugger off. And another dungeon can be found right about here. So close to filling it all in, just a little bit more. And of course, the last little spot on the map also has a dungeon right about there-ish. Uh, and that's that because up there is just a sh uh, cliff face that keeps sliding off of. Man, that is whelming. How about we go hatch all the eggs that we found here and see what there is for us? I especially want to hatch up that scorching egg because, like, what's it doing up here? Oh, heck. Suzuku Aqua that was in the frozen zone. Oh, uh, you can't get those normally I, I was just quiet for the rest of the eggs and some of my breeding attempts are wrapped up in here, too But I was not expecting that that's pretty cool and uh, Suzuku Aqua can be ridden as a flying mount and enhances water attacks while mounted Okay, apparently these guys have a crap ton of stamina. So that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah The large scorching egg is all ready to go. Let's see what's in here. Oh, a kitson. Okay, womp womp. Uh, I think I'm gonna ha uh, have two huge frozen eggs going, and then I think I'll wrap things up. That epic pump action shotgun takes 135 refined ingots, 90 polymer, and 180 carbon fibers. Oof, I might have to save that for the next episode. Uh, just a little bit more. So let's put the rush ore back in the box for now. Even though it does really good, I want to take out our turt. I level them up to level 2, uh, and we need lots of high quality pal oil, oh heck, for more polymer. And uh, capturing uh, dig toises is a good way to get that, so uh, I think that's what I'm going to go do until these eggs all finish hatching, and then I'll wrap this up. Ugh. Alright buddy, please be good, please be good. Oh, you get, you get right to it. What if I do drill crusher? You just does it recharge or do I have to wait for you to I okay come here come here I would are you gonna do it anyways or do I have to tell you to do it Okay, that, that's pretty satisfying though. I'll, I'll give him that. Then you just go down to doing one, eh? I'm very whelmed, but you're absolutely adorable, so I'll, I'll take it. Alrighty, two huge eggs coming up. I had an idea. What about, like, once we... Oh, an Ice King Paka. Nice! That's what oh, we almost have everybody nowadays. And a Mamorist Chris. Also not bad. What I was going to say is I was thinking once we like finish the game as to 
what's going on right now because like the game just came out there's not a lot of end game content at the moment but uh what, what, what if i did another playthrough of like super hard mode where there's like a uh, less like we do less damage they do more damage and whatnot i think that'd be pretty interesting so let me know if you've seen this part in the comments uh and i very slowly will see you in the next... Oh, that one sucks. One. Bye-bye.